Hello there, Writing Workshop, and welcome to day 12. Let's pray and get right into it today. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for this day and for once again this opportunity to teach virtually for students who need, um, who just need that support. I do pray, God, that you are um, helping us to use this upcoming long weekend as a time to get caught up. Um, I know that the start of this semester has been rough as we adjust to um, teaching and learning online. I pray, God, that you are showing us your grace every day, helping me as a teacher uh, to have wisdom in all the steps that I take, uh, helping my students to have the, the energy, the motivation, the time, the space um, to do what they um, are called to do, um, to learn what they're called to learn, to follow you where they're called to follow you. We pray, God, that you are um, protecting people in our city who um, are not as fortunate as we are um, as this really cold weather um, rolls in over the weekend. We pray that you're mobilizing our city and our churches to, um, to provide that service um, for those who might not have a place to stay. We pray that you are providing for the needs um, of the least of these in this time and that we can um, love as you love as well. We love you, Jesus. We pray this all in your name. Amen. As you notice in today's lesson folder, no journal entry once again. Same thing as our last virtual lesson. I'm using this week as a time to give you a little more space to work on things like missing work. Um, I'm actually putting a couple of things on the docket for you in this upcoming long weekend to get caught up on. Um, we'll look at the, the agenda first, but then I want to remind you how to access uh, your gradebook and make sure that you are making the changes you need to make. Our objective for uh, today and really early next week as well is to draft essays based on your pre-writing. I see that a number of you have submitted your outlines for your college application essay. I'm going to be using today um, to provide some feedback on those as you get started with drafting. The video you're watching now will cover some of the basics of drafting once again, just if you need that refresher. I won't spend a whole lot of time on that, but I just want to show you some pro tips on how to start your draft. Keyword there is start. Um, we are going to have some time early next week to continue drafting, and you've got the weekend to work on your draft as well. I'm sure you also noticed in today's lesson folder that your grammar post quiz is now available. Um, as a reminder, that post quiz is very similar to your grammar uh, pre quiz from before, so you can take a look at, at uh, how you did that first time to give you an idea on what to expect this time. A few of the questions are exactly the same between both quizzes. Notice that I just want you to complete your post quiz by the end of Sunday. So if you need some time to look back through old grammar videos, to look at um, your older grammar assignments, to take another look at your pre-quiz, you can take that time to study if you need. I think I set a 15 minute timer on uh, your post quiz. So it shouldn't take super long, but you can take all the time you need for studying. Monday is a virtual day for all of us. Um, all I'm doing is giving you some space on Monday to continue drafting your college application essay. Um, I will have some more writing feedback ready for you to look at um, on that day. So you can take a look, see how you did on earlier writing assignments, and use that as fuel for drafting and for revising and editing next week. Before we get a little review of how to start a draft, I do want to remind you about your Schoology gradebook. Um, once again, no journals this week. I wanted to give you guys a little bit of space to um, catch up on earlier missing journals, missing work, those kinds of things. The place to check your grades is that grades column on the left hand side. Click on that button, it'll take you to your gradebook. It'll look something like this. I'm just looking at Phil's gradebook real quick right here. You'll notice a couple of things. Um, once again, any sort of comments I've left on completed assignments are there on the right. There are a mix of positive things, like how Phil did a nice job on his writing survey assignment. Some of it's uh, pointed feedback, uh, not bad on his proofreading practice. Check out my highlights in that document for ideas. Uh, another thing to look for would be things like missing journal entries. So I haven't rechecked to see if Phil's completed days 9 and 10 just yet, um, but one of my big plans over the weekend is to really comb through my writing workshop grade books and get as much um, regraded as possible. You also want to look for anything that's missing. So like Phil, for instance, can finish his semicolons notes in practice from late last week at this point, too. If there's a line through it, um, it just means it's something I haven't graded yet. The two big things that, I, that I'm going to need some time to finish grading are your college application essay outlines. I want to try to get those done first. And then your theme for writing workshop pages. Um, since I have a lot of students, those will take me a little bit to grade. But I do want to give you some feedback on those to give you an idea on uh, how you can improve for your college application essay draft as well. Once again, no journal this week, so please use a little bit of that time to check through your gradebook, see if there's any uh, missing journals or missing assignments to complete. You do have the weekend to work through those things, but I really want to make sure that we are cleaning up our gradebooks. Uh, some of them are not pretty, as a number of you are missing your theme for writing workshop page. So let's get those in. All right, so for a little refresher on starting a new draft in Word Online, we'll go to the school webpage and log into O365. 
All right, so I'm in Word right here. Um, if you have typed your outline virtually, um, what I would actually do is open up your outline in another tab. It'll make it easier to copy paste sentences over into your new blank document, but to start a new draft, I'm just gonna click new blank document here. Notice that it defaulted mine to be document three. I'm gonna rename that in a moment here, just to make it easier to find. I just call it college essay draft. Boom. There we go. I generally like to do a lot of my formatting up front just so I don't forget to do it later. Um, Calibri 11 is a fine font for typing. I just like Times New Roman 12. And I'm going to get my heading down first as well. So we got example mixed student. There we go. Teacher name is second. The course is writing workshop. And then the date today is 3 February 2021. There we go. I'm actually not too worried about a title for this essay. It's just going to add some unnecessary words to your word count. Notice that my heading ended up being nine words. Yours will probably be nine words as well. Um, so that doesn't matter much, but I'm just going to go right into my attention getter. Um, so I'm typing, 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 blah, blah, blah. I'm noticing that I have single spacing going on here. So let me do double spacing while I'm at it. Line spacing two, and then I can keep typing from there. Once again, if you have typed out your outline for this essay, you can copy paste entire sentences from your outline and, and uh, fix them up later. That's totally fine. I just want to make sure that you have time in, in uh, our lesson and throughout the weekend to get started on drafting according to your outline. It's going to take me a little bit to give feedback on all the outlines that have come in, but if you have not submitted your outline yet, please do that first. That gives me a chance to give you some feedback, give you some ideas on how to improve as you draft. I should say, as you're drafting, notice that I haven't quite put in a space to um, submit your completed essay just yet. I think I'm going to open that up on Monday. Um, next week is an entire week that we can use for proofreading and editing, so I'll give you a chance to turn that in as you feel ready to. I at least want to make sure that um, I'm giving people enough time to type this weekend and spend a little bit of time revising and editing next week. While we're at it, we might as well look at our grammar post quiz real, real briefly here too. I'm going to hit preview. Notice the directions, same thing as what you saw in your pre-quiz. ACT style grammar questions, just on the basic rules, um, spelling, capitalization, and marks, commas. I added a couple that are semicolon specific here as well, um, but you guys tended to do okay with those on the last one anyway. Uh, each question will present an underlined portion of text. You can select the multiple choice option that best phrases it in written English, keyword best. Um, notice that no change is an option for each sentence. There are a couple of questions that are fine, or there are a couple of sentences that are fine the way they are. If that's the case, select no change. At the end of this quiz, there are three word choice questions. We'll take a look at that in a moment as well, because um, we struggled on those last time. Just want to give you a little bit of guidance on those. So just as a reminder, on these multiple choice questions, two tools that are useful. There's flag for review. Um, and there's eliminate choices. If I use the eliminate button, I can get rid of answers that I know are wrong. F-O-U-R-T-Y is not how you spell 40, so I can rule out, I can rule out B. Um, and then from there, I'm deciding between there, there, and there. It's a homophone question. Let's say I know that T-H-E-Y apostrophe R-E means they are. That's not going to work right here. Now I just have to decide between T-H-E-R-E, -E, which is no change, and T-H-E-I-R. I can decide on that 50-50 uh, shot right there. Let's say I'm not sure. Let's say I take a guess. And I'm like, I'm still not sure. I'm going to click flag for review. That's going to give me a reminder at the end of this quiz to come back and look at this question before I submit. You can use those tools for any of these, for any of these questions. Notice that this one is the same as what you saw in your pre-quiz. At the very end, you've got three, yeah, you've got three word choice questions. Please read these uh, directions carefully. So in each, of these, uh, in each of these word choice sentences, I've given you a different part of speech to look for. This first one is looking for just the nouns. Put your things away, yelled the girl. Two nouns in this sentence to, to replace. There's things, which is not very clear, and there's girl, which is not very descriptive as well. As you're rewriting this sentence, I do want you to, to find better replacements for things and girl. It's the same thing for the adjectives in number 14 and for the verbs in number 15. So pay close attention to directions on those questions. I do want you to rewrite the entire sentence, but you will want to replace the words that I'm asking you to replace. Best of luck to you as you take your post quiz. I have faith that you will do much better this time around on this one. I'm excited to see grades in this class uh, rise up as you guys do well on this post quiz.